Well, actually, I probably shouldn't say oopsie, since recently people have been calling me a PewDiePie clone because, you know, no one else on the internet does Let's Play videos, and since I decided I wanted to start doing them, that obviously means I'm trying to copy someone else. I got the power of God and anime on my side! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna calm down because I'm pretty hyper. There's a bunch of stuff I want to talk about today, like the new Fire Emblem. No, it isn't, this isn't my review of the game, but I want to do like an early impressions because I don't know how long it's going to be until I finish that thing and I can actually review it. And I just have so much to say about it right now. And then a huge port for Nintendo Switch, a game that I've been keeping my eye on for a long time now and I'm very excited for that I would never expect to come to the Switch. Well, it's coming to the Switch, so let's talk about that. I also want to talk about the Switch revisions, and I want to talk about Sakurai plagiarizing PewDiePie as well as me. A game you wouldn't expect to get microtransactions is, of course, getting microtransactions. That game is on the Switch as well as everywhere else. And then finally, I want to talk about my before-mentioned Oopsie Doopsie, which I'm going to now refer to as a uh oh what oh guess that can be mine. Not as good, but at least it's different. <laughs> and that's in regard to the last video I uploaded, which has just been an absolute train wreck since I released it. And we're gonna get to that. To start with, Fire Emblem. I bought the big collection thingy, got shipped to my door from GameStop. I didn't play it for a few days once I got it because I had Dragon Quest Builders. I'm about 15 hours into loving every second of it. This game is so much better than I expected. If you have not picked this game up yet, ah, you really need to. Apparently it sold out day one. I don't think they expected to sell as many copies as they did, or they just didn't ship enough. So if you can get a copy of it, I recommend it. No, I plan to talk about it now, but oh, I should really just save it for the video. Otherwise, what's the point of even making another video? It's just really great. <laughs> so, I mentioned a huge game in development is coming to the Switch, and that game is Outer Worlds, which is insane. This is one of those uh, games that I'm excited and looking forward to playing on my Switch, but very hesitant and worried. Uh, it's not being ported by Panic Button. That would give me a lot more confidence in this one. It's being ported by someone else. I'm not sure who. A gorgeous looking slap in the face to Bethesda game developed by the same team that made Fallout New Vegas and decided they would abandon ship and develop their own Fallout style game, but a lot better than the Fallout style games we've been getting recently. Looking at you, Fallout 76. Although to be honest, it's not really hard to make a better game than Fallout 76. I feel like any small indie dev team could probably do a better job at, you know, not making a terrible, awful, buggy, microtransaction-y mess of a video game, but that's just one man's opinion. So imagine, if you will, a brand new, actually good Fallout game. Huge announcement, of course, and I'm super glad to see the support on Nintendo Switch. It is coming out after it releases everywhere else, which will give them time to, you know, make sure it's not bad. I'll wait and see. Yesterday, I woke up very early to the news that you could finally pre-order the Nintendo Switch Lite, and uh, the Pokemon one was sold out within, like, the first hour. Luckily, I did manage to snag myself that one. While in-store GameStop, they told me, nah, we're out, we can't, we can't pre-order that one for you, you missed out, you should have been here in the first 30 seconds, that's your fault, you stupid idiot. So, whatever, I pre-ordered the blue one, I drove home kind of bummed out, thinking I didn't get the Pokemon one, but then I checked the GameStop online when I got home and it was there. So I pre-ordered it off GameStop online and now I'm getting both, which is what I wanted anyway. So, meh. <laughs> Let me know down below if you managed to pre-order yours, but they are live now, so keep an eye out and snag one when you can, if you care, if you even want one. What, buddy? Yeah, I know. I can't hold you this time, I'm holding two swords. Yeah. But that does take me to a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now. You know how people are talking about these new Nintendo Switches that are coming out? Not just the light Switch, but there's another one, kind of, but not really. And that's what I want to talk about. So from what I gather, this is what happened. While Nintendo were developing this new Switch Lite, they actually built a new processing chip to throw inside that bad boy, an NVIDIA X1 something, Integra, I don't know. I'm not good with computer stuff. All I know is it's a new chip. It processes things a little bit faster and it's much better on battery life. So imagine if you will, you're the Goliath company that is Nintendo. Just picture yourself as Reggie and your body is ready. You are now manufacturing two switches. Over here you have the Switch Lite, which has this really cool chip that you're making for it that makes everything better and run faster with better battery. And then over here you have the regular Switch that just has, oh you know, the old processor which isn't as good. So now you've got two factories or maybe even the same factory, I don't know, manufacturing the 
these two processing cards. Why would you do that? Why would you be only- why would you manufacture two things when one is obsolete at this point? So Nintendo, being the big brain that they are, they thought, well, we'll just put this better chip in the regular Switch. That's <laughs> brilliant! And to a lot of people, this might be old news. However, constantly in my comment section or when I'm just talking to people in real life about video games and even Kim the other day, some people still seem to be confused as to why Nintendo are putting out a brand new Switch revision and the only thing they changed was the battery life. They didn't add any other cool features into it. What's the point in that? You expect people, Nintendo, you expect people to go out and buy a whole new Switch for the same price for a few hours extra battery? Are you insane? You didn't add a D-pad, you didn't do a, a bigger screen maybe? And that's why I wanted to talk about it. It's not a revision. So if you were confused, or you know someone who is confused, now you know why. And not so many details as to why Nintendo are putting out a new Switch. That's not a new Switch. Moving on! Oh, that was actually much cooler than I thought it would be. <laughs> Sakurai! You were doing so well at original content in your video games and online, and then you had to go and... You had to go and copy me. You had to go and do a let's play. Oh, you saw a wood from beat em up because Reggie follows wood on Twitter. You heard about this beat em ups guy and decided you would steal his let's play ideas, which he also stole from PewDiePie. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Dra Dragon Quest, as you know, is on the way to Switch. I'm really excited to play it, actually. It looks super cool. It's a definitive edition that's coming to Switch, by the way, which is even cooler. So anyway, the hero from that Dragon Quest and then the other heroes from the other Dragon Quest are fi have found their way to Switch. And while a lot of people here in the Western world kind of just went, ah, that's cool, I guess. Makes sense. It was actually a huge deal in Japan. Like, I don't think people realize how insane that was for Japan. It's something that they've been asking for for a long time. Dragon Quest is, is much bigger over there than it is here and it's still pretty big over here so it's a cool addition and we finally got our first look at the character and it was Sakurai himself just playing it in like a 20-25 minute almost let's play video and it was really interesting it, it made me realize that Sakurai this man that I pretty much idolize in the gaming industry at this point that's made one of my favorite games of all time Super Smash Brothers I've never actually seen and watched him play his own game. And it was really interesting. I never even thought about, I wonder how Sakurai plays Smash. Like, I wonder what that looks like. Like, he has to be really good at it, right? He's, he's okay. <laughs> he's pretty good. He's decent. They mentioned it was experimental. They didn't know if they would do it that way again, but I really hope they do. Like, I don't need some big flashy presentation with a voiceover and quick cuts. Honestly, just give me Sakurai talking about the character he developed and playing it, and I'm good. It was really cool to see. Oh, and the character, it, it launched on the 30th, which I think was yesterday. I don't know what day it is anymore. I've lost track. All I'm doing is playing Fire Emblem and Dragon Quest. I'm addicted to my Switch. I don't know what month it is. I don't know what year it is. And speaking of addictions, that actually is a pretty good segue into my oopsie doopsie uh oh what oh. I want to keep this part as short as possible because I think it's really only going to be interesting to you if you're like a big fan of me. And if you don't know who I am, subscribe. But <laughs> you might not care about this unless, unless you're really interested in YouTube, the website screwing over content creators because they screwed me over once again. <laughs> so this is a two-part uh oh what oh The first part was my fault, the second part's YouTube fault. Let's start with my fault. I make a lot of videos about just the word addiction, I guess, to, to games on my Switch. And the last video I made was titled, Did I Lie About My Addiction to This Switch Game? Now, I didn't know, I didn't, wasn't sure if I was gonna call the video that, because, again, I, I've made so many videos with that word in it, but, that video was about paladins, and the second ever video I made with the word addicted in it was about paladins, because a year ago I was hooked on that game. And they reached out to me, they wanted to sponsor the channel and have me play the game for 10 minutes, which sounds like a perfect scenario for me. I get to play a game that I love and get paid for it? What life do I live? <laughs> <laughs> and it was a Switch game, so it's perfect. Follow-up now from like a year ago, do I still play it? And the answer was, yes, I do. However, the uh oh what oh was in that video for the first round, I was playing against bots because I wasn't even level five and <laughs> didn't even unlock the online, which kind of looked like to people watching, wait, so this guy's addicted to the game 
but has never even got to the point where he can play online, has never even hit level 5. And I did actually explain in the video why I wasn't level 5, but I cut it out for time because it was really boring, and instead I just left it in me saying, this isn't my profile. And I thought that would be enough, but apparently it wasn't, because every top comment was, he's addicted to the game, but he isn't even level 5. Here is what I cut out of the video. I can't wait for all the comments about me being addicted to the game, but I wasn't even level 5. I look forward to it. I mean, you have a different account though, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you remember, but what I did was... I use the US store to buy everything. So I bought Paladins, a complete like package thing on the US store because that's what I do. And usually in a lot of games, like I'll do that and then I'll play it on my actual Australian account, but it didn't carry over the, the whole package thing. So I only had default characters and I didn't really understand what was going on. So I just kept playing on that account and then it clicked. So I switched over to this one. I wanted to clarify this because I know how it looked and my integrity on this platform, it is important to me. And I didn't want anyone to think that I was lying and I want to be able to one day in the future, get addicted to something else and have you guys take it seriously. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching that video and enjoying you for what it was. And so many of you did watch it. It was a really fun video in the end. Like I know it was sponsored, but Sean and I had a great time. I'd never made a video like that with someone else on my channel and there was a lot of like really hilarious moments that I still go back and watch myself. I loved that video. But so many of you did watch it and I know that because YouTube shut it down in the algorithm hard and that's the second part of the uh oh what oh and YouTube screwed me on this one. So funny enough both that video and my video before it got hit with copyright claims at the same time, like an hour or two after I put up my Paladins video. Now, YouTube has a really cool editing tool now where you can go in and you can actually edit videos once they're uploaded. You can cut out whole chunks of sections or trim it in any way you want. And I've done this in the past when I get claims. If something gets claimed, you can actually just go into the YouTube editor and cut out that chunk and now the claimed part is gone and it actually automatically just gets resolved. My last two videos got claimed and the second to last one, I did that on and it fixed it instantly. But the Paladins video, which by the way, out of like the 18 minute video, got claimed for two seconds from 33 seconds to 35 seconds for two seconds of audio. This company has claimed my entire 18 minute video. Sound, sounds about fair. I think that sounds perfectly fair. So I did the little edit thing like I did on the previous video and I waited and I waited and it kept saying processing and I waited some more and then the next day and then today even it's still stuck like it. it's been two or three days at this point it's obviously like a glitch in the matrix and it won't get done processing which means it's still claimed it won't cut out the two seconds that's clean it just won't finish the edit it takes like an hour it's been like 50 hours at this point I've had my network try and reach out to YouTube I haven't heard back it's just, I don't it's it's obviously glitched and it's not going to resolve itself unless someone on YouTube goes in and fixes it. And, and I'm kind of trapped and it sucks because for whatever reason, when a video is claimed, YouTube kind of just shuns that video. It goes, well, no, we don't want to share that one out into the algorithm. So you guys will see it in my subscriber feed. You'll see it and get the chance to watch it, but it won't get shared out. Since like the second hour it went live, it got shut down and you can actually see it in the graph of the views. You can see the point, as I said, like two hours in where it got claimed and just whoop, boom, and it never picked back up again. And that's so uncommon. So yeah, I did an uh oh and then YouTube did an uh oh I talked about that for so much longer than I intended to and I've barely left any time now for the microtransactions part of this. So I'm just gonna, you know, Crash Team Racing is getting microtransactions. If I wasn't already disappointed in that game, that's about the nail in the coffin for me. Activision sucks. Okay guys, I have very high hopes and dreams for uh, editing this and uploading this in the next few hours. So if I want to do that, I got to shut up and you know, <laughs> pedal to the metal. You guys are so freaking awesome. Thank you for watching this. Again, I'll leave a link down below for that Paladins video if you didn't see it. Or even if you have, watch it again. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Before you leave this video, make sure you Sakurai super smash that like button, hair flip all over the subscribe button. I did that completely backwards, but let's just ignore that. <laughs> What's that? I'm holding the blades. <laughs> no, I'm holding the handles. I'm like, ah!